Hi guys, welcome back to SSA Athletics where we talk about everything to do with athletics to help improve your training. Now we're going to be talking about spike pins in particular and what spike pins may be best for you. Well I'm going to give you the quick answer. Whatever is the most comfortable to you. Personally the spike pins I use in competition will not be the same spike pins I use in training. And many elite athletes will have a different pair of spikes or different spike pins ready depending on the weather conditions. Now, I think that for me personally is a little bit excessive, but that may work for them. The main three pair of spikes you may want, your normal spikes, the spike pins you may want, are either needle spikes, pyramid spikes, or Christmas tree spikes. Now, Christmas tree spikes, I think, look like, a little bit like an Aztec pyramid. No confusion there with your Egyptian pyramid, which are your pyramid spikes. Now, spikes give you traction. The rest of the reason why we have them, they give you grip to the surface, a little bit of friction to help you run faster, give you that little bit of push off the ground. Now, needle spikes penetrate the ground. Simple enough, you don't need to know more. Pyramid with a slightly wider base do exactly the same. Christmas tree spikes with the layered surface, as you can see there, that layered surface or those squares, they're designed to keep you on the surface, not in the surface, on the surface, minimizing that friction. And the idea is that you then get the optimal friction to sprint faster. Now, there is no scientific evidence to suggest that either one spike will make you run faster, so really, it is personal preference. What do you prefer? What will make you run faster? And that's the key thing. I prefer these spikes for competition and the other spikes for training or when I'm doing middle distance. And you find a lot of sprinters generally like these spikes. The middle distance runners like the pyramid or the needle spikes, but it's all down to personal preference. But I recommend sprinters may want either one of those three and the middle distance runners want either one of those two. Some, depending on the type of surface, if you want to know about different types of surfaces, click that video there. But there's tartan and mondo. And mondo is a very hard surface that keeps you on top of the surface. So some athletes don't want the pyramid spikes on that surface. Personally, I love them for that type of surface. When it's wet, some people don't like wearing pyramid spikes. They like to wear needle spikes because they can penetrate the ground deeper. For me, I personally don't care. Pyramid spikes for competition for myself and the other spikes for training. Moving back to our jump spikes in particular, these really, really, really weird ones. The square circle, it looks like they should be a bolt or something in your dad's toolkit or in mum's toolkit. So, what do they do? Well, rotational turning force. In this case, for a high jump, they rotate and turn, make, giving you less friction to do that, meaning you're able to jump higher. Now going to an advanced bit of physiology and biomechanics. When you sprint, you're always gonna have a marginal amount of rotation going forward. So when our foot places the ground, we get this, we want to keep it dorsiflect correct, but we get this movement to side to side as we land and then we drive off. Now, when it comes to sprinting, it doesn't really matter because it doesn't matter what spikes we use, middle distance, doesn't matter in terms of keep having that extra rotation. In fact, we probably don't want that extra rotation. Now, when it comes to long jump, we want to keep marginal, we want to be able to drive, scrape the ground, but be able to get height. So rotation of the foot on the ground is highly important. It's only a marginal rotation, but it's just enough to dictate potentially whether you can get an extra millimeter or so of height. And the higher you go in long jump, providing you have good technique, the further you go in long jump. So when it comes to long and triple jump, it's up to you. Do you want the pyramid, the needle, or the Christmas tree spikes, or do you like to utilize these bad boys here? I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Adam McCarthy of SSA Athletics, and I will see you in the next one.